Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here for your Queen City News at noon. I'm Amy Satowski. We're staying on top of that developing story out of Raleigh today after a deadly shooting yesterday in the capital city. It was an act that Governor Roy Cooper called unspeakable. Five people are dead, including an off duty police officer. A teenager is now accused of the crime. Five hours of chaos as police worked to capture him. And now as we take a look at some live pictures from the capital city in North Carolina, uh, that city is just in mourning this Friday. Queen City News has been following the developments out of Raleigh since it happened last night. And the victims have also been identified. They include off duty Raleigh police officer Gabriel Torres, who was 29. He was on his way home uh, or on his way to work when he was gunned down in that neighborhood. Also killed, we have Nicole Connors, 52, Mary Marshall, who is 34, 49-year-old Susan Carnance, and James Roger Thompson, who is just 16 years old. Our Savannah Rudisell was there this morning for the latest news conference where we got an update and speeches, Savannah, from the governor and the city's mayor. She's live now where those fatal shots were fired in that neighborhood there. Savannah. Yeah, Annie, that's right. This is still very much an active investigation, something they say is still ongoing, mostly because the scene happened, they say, over about a two-mile stretch. Officers uh, here in the Headingham neighborhood, about 15 minutes northeast of downtown. And as of here this afternoon, they still have quite a few roads blocked off and even a command post uh, set up just a little ways down still in the neighborhood. Officers say this was a really complex scene and a complex threat that they had to respond to, partially because of its location. These houses, we're talking single family homes, duplexes, they're all packed into a pretty dense area. And we are standing right here off the course of a uh, of a golf course, as well as the News Creek Greenway. Now, neighbors called police right around five o'clock yesterday when they heard gunshots. Now, local, regional, state and federal law enforcement agents, they all responded when they determined this was a mass shooting. City officials tell us that they evacuated two nearby community centers, put two schools on lockdown and told neighbors who are closer to the area to stay inside with their doors locked. Then after nearly four hours, police took a suspected shooter into custody. He is a 15 year old boy. Five victims, as you heard Amy say, they range in ages 16 to 52. Now there's no word yet on a possible suspected motive or any possible relationship between the shooter and these victims. But Raleigh Mayor Mary Ann Baldwin says that today brings a very heavy mix of sadness and anger. There are several families in our community waking up this morning without their loved ones. We grieve for them today. Our prayers are also with those who are injured. You know, no one can imagine what they're all going through. But please know, we as a community stand with you today. In addition to those five people shot and killed, there are two others who were injured. One, another police officer who is now recovering at home and a 60 year old woman or excuse me, a 59 year old woman who is still in critical condition in the hospital. Police say that Marcel Gardner is uh, is recovering in the hospital at Wake Med right now and tomorrow would be her 60th birthday. Now, of course, we're going to be following this story as it comes out. We will keep you updated as each piece of information is released and I'll stick with Queen City News a little bit later on this afternoon. Afternoon. We've got more crews coming and uh, around four and five o'clock today. You'll be able to hear how the community is supporting one another today. Reporting live in Raleigh, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News. Just a horrific scene to imagine there and have to go through in the community uh, really taking a hard hit. Savannah, thank you.